in the given circuit it is asking to find potential difference across A and point B. For that we will have to find current in this circuit I. You see impedance of this circuit Z is R square plus XL minus XC whole square under root. So it will be 8 square plus 8 minus 2 whole square thus result will be Z equals 10 ohm. Now cos phi power factor cos phi will be R upon Z. So it will be 8 upon 10 that is 5 that is 4 upon 5. Therefore, 5 will be equal to T. So, when you go for writing the equation of current I, I will be Vm upon Z and cos 100 pi T plus this phi. So, result will be Vm is, is 10, 10 upon Z is 10 cos 100 pi T plus 37 degree. So, I will be cos 100 pi T plus 37 degree. Now, to find potential difference across A and B, it will be VAB equals I into XL minus XC. XL minus XC is negative. So, it will be I into 6 into cos of 100 pi T plus 37 minus pi by 2. You see here I have taken minus pi by 2. Why? Because xc value is greater than xl value. So, overall circuit will be of capacitive nature. So, to find the potential difference across A and B, in this equation of I, we will have to add minus pi by 2 phase extra. So, VAB will be equal to 6 into cos of 100 pi t minus 53 degree. Now you see it is given that VAB is half of this value. So, we will put simply half of this value that is 5 cos of 100 pi t equals 6 cos of 100 pi t minus 53 degree. We will have to solve this and find some relation. So, further it will be 6 cos A minus B formula you can use. So, cos of 100 pi t multiplied with cos of 53 degree plus sin of 100 pi t multiplied with sin of 53 degree. 5 cos 100 pi t equals 6. You can take cos pi t common. Cos 100 pi t common. So, it will be cos 53 degree that is 3 by 5 plus 10 hundred pi t multiplied with 4 upon 5. You see this value is cancelled. So, 5 upon 6 minus 3 upon 5 multiplied with 5 upon 4 
that will be our 100 pi t. So, by solving this we can find as 7 upon 7 into 5 upon 30 into 4 which is 100 pi t. Result is 7 upon 24 100 pi t. From this data we can find cos 100 pi t. So, cos 100 pi t will be simply 24 upon 25. Now, you see we have to find a difference between potential difference between A and B which will be simply half of this. So, V A B will be our final result V upon 2 that will be 5 multiplied with cos 100 pi t is equals 5 into 24 upon 25 result will be 24 48 into 10 power minus 1 that is our desired result V A V. So, unknown value for this question which is x will be 48. This is our desired result.